terms of effort or in terms of scheme? No, I'm talking about how they guarded. They just let people score. They didn't. It didn't. It didn't bother them. Um, they didn't get upset about it. Um, we were playing the same scheme we did in the first half. We held them to 31. Um, you know, we gave them 43% shooting from three. Um, it's just. It's just not how we play. And and they've got to come with a better mentality on how they're going to defend. And and they have to have some sort of mental toughness um, about them. The way we play defense hasn't changed in 10 years. So the only thing we did last year, we probably played a little bit more zone, but I'm going to get it corrected. You guys had 26 points in the paint the first half. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of your foul shots in the first half, when you guys were 12 for 12 after right. the three line, came on fouls in the paint. Mm -hmm. You've always talked about this being inside out. The second half, the first 10 minutes, maybe it looked like you guys maybe got away from that a little bit. Yeah, it's like I put on the board before we started. I said, this isn't a my turn offense. This is an offense where you take great shots, not good shots. Just because you haven't got one up doesn't mean you take one. You do what's working, and we play the game the right way. So we got to continue to get better. But as I said, that's my responsibility. And I take, I'll take, i get it straightened out, but it's going to get straightened out. But I thought Tim Williams was terrific tonight. Any concern about Elijah? Because, I mean, he struggled tonight. He's just not the game Well, I just think, you know, he's probably pressing a little bit. You know, he's probably – Still trying to get in a rhythm. I think our team's still trying to get in a rhythm. But all in all, I, I think he's playing hard. Um, you know, we got to show more tape to our guys and we got to work a little bit harder, which we will. But, you know, he just had a bad game. I mean, he just didn't, he didn't play as well as he's capable of. And, you know, we'll keep working on it. But, you know, he, he has a little room for error. So uh, it's been a tough little transition for him being out. It's hard. Has he shown any frustration that his shot's not there yet? Or no, I don't think he's shown any frustration. I, I think he's a little bit upset about how he performs, but he's been very good with the guys. He's been very positive. Um, you know, he's, he's been a pretty good leader as far as talking to the guys. He's been an excellent leader as far as I'm concerned, but he just didn't, it's just one of those games he didn't have it today. And that's, that's happens. It happens to the best of them. Jalen got a little good long look in the second mm -hmm. half. I mean, he's obviously doing something to impress you at the point guard. Well, I just think when you come out to start the half, and, and it starts with um, you get a stop, you have the ball, and we don't run the play that we've drawn up, or we don't, we're not focused on what we're doing. Again, that that's something that I have to correct, and that's why I corrected it and played Jalen. Jalen did a nice job, and you know that's not against anybody else. But I'm going to play with the guys that do what I ask him to do because it's been successful. What did you think of the bench play tonight? I thought it was pretty good. I mean, we played a lot of guys. I think guys get anxious. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned with the bench in just the sense they think they got to make something happen as far as scoring points. And that's not, that's not how you, how you show, show a coach or a team you're going to be productive. You don't have to come in and shoot a lot of balls or score a lot of points. You just have to play the game and, and guard. And I thought they showed signs. Uh, we got a lot of talent, um, and they're learning. So that's just part of it. But we'll continue to be positive with those guys, and they'll grow. But I thought we're able to play a lot of guys. We and, and we fouled a little bit too much. So we got to continue to work on that with the new rules. But all in all, I think our guys are trying. They just we got to get better. You know, overall, going into the first half, end of the first half, and were you happy with the tempo and the pace that you guys were playing? I mean, you guys looked pretty good in that first half. Yeah, we, we scored 50, but it's a maturity thing. We have to we have to mature as a group that, you know, if you score 50 and you come out, you, you want to hold them to under 30 the second half, and we didn't do that. We gave them 40, uh, 48. I mean, that just can't happen, but that's a maturity level. Nothing changed from what we did in the first half. To the second half, it's just that there was the focus and the maturity level of this group has got to it's got to take a step up, and it's got it's got to do it quickly. Coach, you shot well from the floor, you shot well from the free throw line right. as well. Aside from that defensive effort in the, in the second half, is there one thing that's really glaring you want to clean up before the next coach takes? Well, I think the biggest thing is we got to we we're not shooting the ball very well. We're not shooting the ball. I mean, we're four from 12 from three. Uh, we're, we're taking hurried and rush shots. We're not trying to get the great shot. Um, we got to do a better job of being ready to shoot, but we haven't been shooting the ball from the perimeter very well. What do you think of the play of Damian Jefferson? He's good. He's athletic. He's active. Um, he's just got to slow down a little bit, but he's a great kid. He works hard. He's going to be a good player here. 
But, you know, I have no worries of playing him, but he's doing a nice job. You're talking about the perimeter shooting and they weren't mm-hmm. catching the ball. Are, the, are there shots being forced or is it more actually being behind? I think we're shot? just in a hurry, Jeff. I, th- I think in the zone, I think we're just in a hurry. We're not catching, pivoting. We're not ready to shoot. We're trying to catch and go and drive it. Uh, you can't drive a zone very good and try to get all the way to the rim. We gotta, if we're going to drive it, we got to show shot first, then we got to drive and make two, two of us play, play us, and then make the right play. We're just getting in a hurry. I mean, you know, the last two teams have played a zone, and they've exploited that, that we don't have very good perimeter shooting. And I thought we'd be a good perimeter shooting team, uh, but we haven't shown that yet. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I, I think I talked about my last press conference. We have to play inside out, and if we do that, we'll get people in foul trouble. We'll be able to get to the line. When we start being jet, uh, jump shot happy, then we won't get to the foul line. And I thought we started out the second half, the first five minutes we did that, and I thought that affected how our flow was. But all in all, I thought we did a nice job in the first half getting the ball inside, unlike the Idaho State game. The Idaho State game, the first it was almost like reverse. The Idaho State game, we didn't get the ball inside early. We struggled. The second half, we came out and got it inside, and then we played off of that and did really well offensively. Tonight, we got it inside early. Then we we came out the first five minutes of the second half and really didn't do that. And I, I think you got to be consistent on how you perform and what you try to do. When you guys in that four spot and had games like Tim did tonight and two double-doubles for him so far this season, there's usually a second guy that kind of feeds off this. Sam did it the first game. I just think we got a lot of production from a lot of guys. I think X had some really good numbers, Jeff. Um, You know, I don't want to look down um, so that I'm not paying attention to you guys. Look down at my paper all the time. So I think he did really well. I thought I thought he he gave us some good minutes. I thought he gave us some good numbers. I thought Connor did until he got in foul trouble. Um, But all in all, I thought we we were pretty productive as far as a group. I mean, offensively, we got some more points from other people, if that makes sense. It wasn't like it wasn't like Sam had 20 and Tim had 31. I think we got that 20 spread around a little bit. You guys didn't have 10 that score. Um, 11 plays. Is Joe and Dane Dane still safe? And Joe just a coach's decision? Yeah, Dane's was still in street clothes. I think he was still in street clothes. Yeah, I think he was still in street clothes. Like yeah, he, he had he had a, a week he had to lay off. Um, so he, he'll start practice um, hopefully on Wednesday. We'll get him some workouts and try to get him back into it. So that was a doctor's deal. It was a seven-day. No. No. Uh, Sam, that was explosive was uh, last game, but nine and six. I mean, is that more of a I think Sam was really good getting out on transition last week. I thought he was really good in the zone. We got him a couple dunks. We had really hard. We had a really problem with execution. Um, we came out of the half. Um, guys going to the wrong spots. Guys not doing what we've drawn up. So I mean, we've got to correct that because we were really good in the first half. I mean, if you guys know, I or- I, I I pre did our first four plays in the first half, and we got bucket, 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 bucket. I did the same thing in the second half, and we had guys go to the wrong spots. So I think I've got to get their attention. I thought I had their attention, but they have to realize this is how you win games, attention to detail. It happens academically. It happens in their real life. It happens with being on time, being to class on time. If you if you little struggle with that, you're going to struggle with stuff like that. But we can't do that. we got to get better at it. We've been pretty good. But today in the second half, I don't know. I thought I had their attention, but it made it a lot simple when the horn sounded and they came out. So I think I got their attention that way. Can we talk about the Aggie Snyder? We'll do something else. What's that? Yeah, we'll, we'll do one Wednesday if that's all right with you guys. We'll just do one Wednesday. Is that fine? You guys need anything else? Thanks. Appreciate it.